Hello and welcome to the Easy Stay University. Uh, today we'll be talking about the dynamic values and the Easy Vista questionnaire constraints. First, let's have a look at the dynamic values. Under the operation module, uh, we have a new menu that's questionnaires dynamic values. By default, you will find uh, a list of uh, pre-configured dynamic values. There are 20 of them, all based on uh, the time. So they allow configuring constraints on questions of type um, date or date and time. Like, uh, for example, um, the desired date should be later than uh, the current day. So we may use this uh, today uh, dynamic values. Another one should be later than yesterday or the first day of last year, first day of last uh, month, what have you. You may also add, uh, using this icon, your own dynamic uh, values. In the wizard, you have to choose the type. You have four uh, different uh, types. In this example, we want the dynamic value to calculate the number of employees in the company. To do that, we will use the count uh, query on the employees table and configure a condition to include only the active employees. A dynamic value can be used in a constraint only after it is associated with the questionnaire. So here you have the list of questions and you launch the managed questions uh, wizard and then click the assign the dynamic values uh, button. Here you have a small uh, icon uh, to the wiki and then this plus icon to uh, assign uh, the dynamic values. Now for performance and optimization, a recommended best practice is to define the dynamic values needed in a questionnaire and associate only those. Uh, the reason for that is that when a questionnaire is launched, the system calculates all the dynamic values uh, that are associated uh, with it. So be careful uh, with this. And once uh, they are assigned, they, um, the dynamic value can be edited or you can uh, also create a new dynamic value directly from uh, this wizard. Once a dynamic value has been used in a constraint, it can no longer be uh, removed from the, the association list. Now let's see um, how they are used in constraints. Here we have an example of uh, a simple onboarding questionnaire. We need to open the Manage Questions uh, wizard. We have questions of different types and uh, conditions and constraints already configured. Uh, the color of the icon indicates when, um, when a constraint or condition have been um, set. Here is a constraint using the dynamic value today. Um, it should guarantee that the birth date is uh, in the past and you associate the, the message you want uh, to be put to the user when the input value is uh, not valid. We, uh, we will see also another constraint set on the arrival date uh, using the same option compare, compared to a dynamic value. So it should be uh, later or equal to today. It is possible to set up to 10 constraints uh, on the same question. Like here, for example, on the departure date, uh, we have a combination of two uh, constraints. So the first one uses the option compared to dynamic value. It should be later than yesterday. And the second option is the comparison to uh, a previous, previous answer. So uh, the departure date should be later than uh, the arrival date. Now let's take a look at uh, how this questionnaire will behave. Uh, I choose a date that is later than the date uh, of this uh, recording for the birth date. So the system pops uh, the error message and uh, all is okay when I choose uh, a valid uh, date. 
Now for the arrival, all is okay because it is prior to uh, the date of uh, the recording of this uh, tutorial. By design, I set a departure date uh, prior to the arrival date so the system pops uh, the message and uh, all is okay only after all my dates are are valid and pass the constraints. Now that we've uh, covered the dynamic values, we're going to take a look at other options of the questions uh, constraints. The list of uh, options presented is contextual to the questions type. You can compare to a fixed value, like in this example where I need to make sure that the new employee is uh, at least 16 years old. The fixed value has to be numeric to match the questions type. For questions uh, of uh, type upload document, there are two options, one for the authorized file types and the other for the maximum size allowed. And the maximum size, size allowed uh, by the system is, uh, is displayed in red at the bottom uh, as a reminder. Another type of constraints that we already have um, elsewhere in, uh, in Service Manager are regular expressions. In this uh, example, we will be setting a regular expression on uh, the last name to allow only capitals, lowercase and accented uh, uh, characters, as well as the blank uh, dash uh, quote mark. Here uh, you have a zoom in, so you can take a closer look at the corresponding regular expression. You have uh, more info on, uh, on that on uh, the wiki. Before wrapping up uh, this uh, video, we'll go to the conditions functionality to look at the SQL type. Uh, it allows you to set a display condition based on the result of a query. Uh, in this example, we have uh, a SQL condition based on a count on the, uh, the asset table and uh, it calculates the, uh, the number of uh, laser checked uh, B1006 model with the status in stock, which corresponds to the four, the ID four. So whenever this count is uh, greater than zero, the printer question is uh, is displayed, and the user may uh, may uh, request it. More information on uh, on the wiki page corresponding to the first uh, two thousand sixteen uh, release. You may reach it uh, by clicking uh, this link here. The EV Connect forum is the place uh, to ask your questions, uh, share useful constraints uh, you set, and you may also email us at easyvcorporateknowledge at easyvista.com. Thank you all for watching this video and uh, I hope you found it useful. Hope to see you again on our university.